Howdy, this is RBC Consulting again. My name is Robert, and uh, I've been doing some testing on this Ultra Ever Dry H2O repellent. And what I did here is I've got some uh, three quarter inch uh, MDO, three quarter inch panel rapid form cleats. Uh, I've been doing concrete for 20 years now, so I thought I'd give this an experiment here and uh, give it a whirl. Uh, what I did is I sprayed these forms with a two-stage uh, coating, uh, super hydrophobic. Normally we use form release, so what I did is I took some uh, xylene and I cleaned the forms before I poured it. Uh, I used just standard uh, 3,000, 2,500 PSI mud you can pick up at any hardware store or Home Depot. Uh, Sprayed it with a, uh, a gun similar to this, a little bit bigger. Uh, it's not here right now, but uh, two stage, let it dry really good. Uh, made sure I got good coating on it. And it did some a uh, little bit different stuff uh, to the concrete. One thing I did is when I pulled the nails out, the, the forms normally stick to the concrete. Uh, when I pulled these nails out, I had a hard time keeping the whole box steady because it just, it just falls off. I mean, uh, let me give you an example here. This is how easy the forms come off this stuff. It, uh, it just literally, I mean, they're just as loose uh, as when I put it together. And I used, you know, the six penny duplex on the ends, cleats on the top. But this stuff, I mean, literally had no stick to the concrete whatsoever. And you can see that the uh, forms, you can see that the, this one here is kind of clouded white. It has the overspray of the top coat on it. This one here, it looks like the concrete had stuck to it, but let me grab some water real quick. You can still see that the form is still uh, hydrophobic. I mean, you can, you can see that the, it still beads water down. Uh, so you probably be able to get maybe a couple more pours out of it. Uh, this one here did the same thing. Uh, after I stripped it, I just wanted to check and see, but you can see that uh, I mean, it's still good for another pour. It's still really hydrophobic, still repels the water, still dry. Uh, same with the uh, front form. What I did notice here is that the uh, concrete actually came out pretty smooth uh, for inside of a three quarter inch form. Uh, I didn't sting it or anything. I just tapped on it uh, just to make sure that it, uh, see what it did with rock pockets and pushing the air and stuff in. And to me, as a, a wall, it looks really good. Uh, even the front form here uh, that we used is really hydrophobic too. Just water just beads off still. I mean, definitely, uh, definitely reusable. Uh, I know if it was uh, stacked forms and you're walking on it and scratching them, you know, it's gonna need a little bit of touch up, but you know, it does work. I would uh, definitely recommend this stuff uh, maybe to an architectural concrete guy that's doing a lot of architectural or big commercial walls. Uh, definitely could be reusable. Uh, it's, it is kind of expensive, but I think if you can get a, a couple good pours out of it. So what I did here is I just poured a little 8 inch by 16 inch cube of concrete, put some metal in it for, for some handles and stuff. One thing I did notice is if you can zoom in a little bit here, on the edge of this thing here. Usually this edge breaks off when you strip your forms because it's square. Well, I noticed after I was done pouring with this, it actually looks like I took a quarter inch edger and went around the whole top of the forms. The corners came out nice and square, but it was weird how the hydrophobic uh, pushed the water over the top of this and wouldn't allow it to square up. It actually rounded the corner which I thought was really cool because when you strip your form, usually the top edge peels off a little bit and spalls. And uh, that's kind of like how, why they run chamfer, uh, you know, and plus the corners don't break. So this actually rounded the top edge of the concrete, which I thought was really cool. Uh, another thing I tested when I was done with this, uh, I wanted to see what the concrete did. So what I did is I poured water on the concrete and uh, somehow the uh, top uh, hydrophobic part of the, the uh, Ultra Ever Dry uh, bonded to the concrete off the form. So what I imagine it was is you can see on the form, because I coated it really good, I wanted to give it a good test. Uh, this here is still uh, super hydrophobic, uh, but you can see the edge line here of where the concrete was poured, but down here you can also see 
That's what I think is the overspray picked up into the concrete and it bonded to the, the wet concrete here and now it's stuck into the concrete. Uh, so the overspray I thought was awesome, uh, but you know, it has its ups and its downs, but I thought this was really cool. Now the block of concrete is hydrophobic. It's uh, water resistant, just like the panel is now. And you know, I meant it might be different for different applications, but now that the concrete is water resistant, uh, I know a lot of people want to seal up their walls, but this one actually adhered to the concrete, which I thought was really cool. Uh, so, but anyway, three quarter inch MDO, 2500 PSI concrete, any hardware store, uh, did a pour, uh, like the edges, rounded up, uh, concrete came out water resistant, uh, edges look really good, and the panels fell off. I think a guy, if he was, if they were done right, the new forms or at least cleaned, uh, building some nice architectural concrete could get maybe three, four, five pours out of one coating of this product might last that long, and it's going to give them a nice clean wall. I mean, this is really smooth. It's not even stung. Uh, really came out nice. But anyway, this is Robert from RBC Consultant. I uh, just thought I'd give you some info on this. If you guys have any questions on these products. Uh, that I'm putting up here or need something tested or want to send me something, uh, feel free to give me a call. Uh, if you got something you want me to try it on, definitely give me a call. Uh, and you can ship something to me if needed. And I'll spray it, ship it back. You can give it a whirl. Uh, but this was just something that I've been in the trade with that I know concrete. So I thought it worked out really good. Definitely probably a little too expensive for the residential guy, but commercial, architectural, uh, something really, really fancy, uh, precast concrete works really good. I think it'd be a definite, uh, definite investment. So anyway, I'm Robert and, uh, look forward to seeing my next video. I hope.